Windows 11 is a free upgrade for Windows 10 users, which was released on October 5, 2021. It has some new and cool features and a very clean user interface. If you have upgraded from Windows 10 or you have purchased a new system with Windows 11 installed, then this video is for you because in this video I am going to show you a list of essential tips and tricks for Windows 11 operating system. And after watching this video, you will be able to confidently use Windows 11 operating system. There is a long list of tips and how to's which a new Windows 11 user might want to ask. If you are only interested in a particular tip, there is a list in the description of this video with a timestamp. So you just click on the timestamp and you will be directed to that part of the video. So let's get started. Tip number one, Windows 11 taskbar. Taskbar is an important part of the user interface and Windows 11 has a centered taskbar. As you can see, this area in the center is called taskbar. The taskbar contains the most important start button. And if I click on that, the start menu will appear. It has three important parts, the pin section. And in the pin section, you can pin to start those applications which you use on a regular basis. Then there is a recommended section where the operating system is giving you some recommendations about some of the applications you have used recently. So let us see an example. I don't use this mail on a regular basis. So I can right click and I can unpin from the start. And let us say I want to pin another application which I use on a regular basis but which is not shown in this area. To do that, I click on all apps and Audacity is an application which I use on a regular basis. So I right click on that and at the top, I have this pin to start. I click on that and now if I click back and then on the right hand side, I have this little arrow. If I click on that, I can see that Audacity has been included in the pinned application. So now I don't have to search for this. I just click on start button and then I scroll a little bit down and I click on Audacity to start this application. And there is also a shortcut key for the start menu to appear, which is control escape. Now some of you might want to put this taskbar on the left of your screen. To do that, we right click in this area and then click on taskbar setting and then I click on taskbar behavior and here I can select left and the taskbar will move towards the left of the screen. Now the second tip is about hiding the desktop icons and you can make your desktop clean by hiding all these icons from your desktop and to do that simply right click on your desktop click on view and uncheck this show desktop icon so if i uncheck this now all the icons on my desktop have become hidden now the next tip is how to change the theme in windows 11 and to do this i right click and i click on personalize. Now there are few themes that are available in this area and I can quickly apply any of these themes. But if I want more themes, what I can do is I click on this arrow in theme section and now I click on browse theme and there are a lot of free themes available in Windows 11 that you can choose from. Just select the theme and then click on get. You have to log in with your Hotmail account let's go back to settings and if i click on this color there is an important setting here i can choose the mode there is a light mode and there is a dark mode as well as a custom mode available i can also change the colors so this is how you can change the theme in windows 11. now tip number four is how to change the style and size of the mouse pointer and to do this i right click on the start button and this menu appears this is very important menu for you to customize your windows 11. So in this case, I click on system and then accessibility and then I click on mouse pointer and touch and this is the place where you can change the size and style of your mouse pointer. Now tip number five is how to adjust screen brightness and system volume and this can be done really quick. You simply click on this speaker icon and you can adjust both system volume and the screen brightness in this area. So let me get it back to around 20. Tip number six is screen capture with full control. 
There are two ways to capture screen in Windows 11. One is by using a snipping tool and because I have accessed this tool recently, I can see it here. But if not, you can simply type in this search bar and you will access this tool. You click on that and the snipping tool will open. And if you want to directly access the screen capture cursor, then there is another way by using a combination of three keys. And those keys are Windows, Shift and S. If you press Windows, Shift and S, you will directly access this screen capturing tool. So you can use either of these two methods to capture the screen. Let us first use this snipping tool method. On the right hand side, you can have a delay in screen capturing once you have marked the area. But normally we don't use it and we capture the screen without any delay. And in the middle area, you have these four options. Rectangle mode, where you select a rectangle with your cursor, click and drag. Then you can capture any window. You can capture full screen, everything on your screen. And you can also capture free form. So we first try free form. I select this method and then I click on new. And now I get the same tool. And now I can select any area just like that. So this is a free form area I can select. And as you can see that I have captured that particular area. Let me close this and I access the snipping tool again. If I select rectangle mode and press new, I can select any. So I click and drag and that portion of the screen will be captured. I can now save this by clicking on this icon and I can select a folder and I can rename this and save the image. And there are three different formats in which I can save this image. The other way to access the snipping tool is by pressing three keys, Windows, Shift and S and I get this tool. And the four options are these four icons. The rectangular snip, the free form snip, window snip and full screen snip. And if I press this, it has captured my full screen, but this snip is now copied to my clipboard. And what I need to do is I need to open an application such as paint and I can then paste this and then I simply save the file, save as. So these are two methods to capture screen in Windows 11. Tip number seven is about clipboard history and how to insert emojis. So I hope that you all know about clipboard whenever we cut anything or we try to copy anything that thing is placed in an area of the computer memory which is called clipboard and then we can paste it anywhere. In Windows 11 you can access your previous clipboard history by pressing the combination of two keys Windows plus V. But before I do that let me copy few things from this simple file. So I copy first line right click and copy then i copy the second line copy and then the last one so i have copied three things let's say i want to place these things here so now if i press windows and v on my keyboard i have this clipboard history this was the last item and these two items were copied before that so let's say I want to put this item, the second one here. So I click on that and this item will be placed. And now I press enter and go to the next position. Again, Windows and V. And let's say I want to paste this item. So I click on that and it will be placed. So this clipboard history in Windows 11 is a very useful feature. It gives you a lot of flexibility when you are trying to copy paste many items. Now if I press windows key and the semicolon key, I get these emojis. Not only emojis, I have symbols and also if you have connected to the internet, you can have some GIFs as well. Now tip number eight is how to use windows 11 search. You can right click taskbar settings and you make sure that this search is turned on. If I click on this search, it gives me a very clean interface where I can search various types of objects. For example, I can do all search that will search everything. I can search app. I can search documents. I can search on the web and I also have some more options. As you can see that I can search folders. If you remember the name of a folder you want to search or videos and there are some other options. For example, I click on documents and I type a keyword PDF 
it will show me all the PDF files because every PDF file contains the word PDF at the end. If for example, I type TEX, it will show me all the LaTeX files because all LaTeX files have extension .tex. So in this way, you can use search in Windows 11. Tip number nine is multiple desktop, which is a task view feature of Windows 11. In the taskbar, we have this icon. This is a multiple desktop icon. As you can see that I have a desktop and this is desktop one, but I can also add another desktop by clicking on this plus sign. But before I do that, if you don't have this icon in your taskbar, you right click in this area, taskbar settings, and make sure that you have this task view turned on. Let's close this. And now there are two actions. If I hover over this icon, I can create a new desktop by clicking on this plus sign. If I do that, a new desktop will be created. I can rename this, for example, design. I can also rename the first one. Let's say normal or default. Now the second action is that instead of hovering over this icon, if I click on this icon, now what I can do is I can assign any of the open applications into one of these desktops. So I can drag this and put it in this desktop. And then these are some other applications which are opened. I can similarly drag this and put it in this one. And in a similar manner, I can drag these applications and I can put into these desktops. And I can also move between these two desktops by using a shortcut key, which is control windows and right arrow. And now I am pressing control windows and right arrow. And as you can see that the taskbar changed. And now I am pressing control windows and left arrow and now I am in the second desktop. So this multiple desktop is a very powerful feature of Windows 11 that can help you organize your different projects. Now tip number 10 is how to keep your Windows 11 updated. And if I right click on the start button and then click on settings, I have an option for Windows update. And Windows update is very important for both operational and security purposes because there might be some bug fixes and your operating system must be updated. So in this area, as I can see that my system is updated, but I can still check for updates. I can pause updates as well. And also there are some advanced options in which I have some optional updates available. I can also tell the system my active working hours and there are some other options which you can explore. That is it for today. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.